Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing some more Strafe. Uh, and I just beat level 1 in the previous video, so let's continue. Uh, the first area of this level I believe is always set, and is kind of their way of uh, making an homage to both Doom 3 where there's a, a hallway that says something doomed and then there's a dead guy and also the first level of uh, of original doom where there's an Yeah, see, I already lost almost all of the uh, the armor I had left from last time just because of those friggin' jellyfish. But uh, the first level of the original Doom had an opening atrium that looked a lot like this. I should not have done that. Yeah, so you can pick up barrels in this, unlike in the original Doom and such, but you need a lot of head clearance in order to do anything with it. I'm going to reload here for safety, plus there was a fresh clip right there. him up but I didn't kill him and he's down there now but I'll kill his buddy ah and one for you damn it See, I'm... Ooh, alright. I'm trying to play it a little careful, but it's not necessarily working the best. Uh, these things here, you go up and use them, and they'll take your your uh, primary gun and do a little dance and upgrade it to have some sort of extra effect. Uh, it made it into a machine gun. I guess it's random what they do to it. Uh, how's it work? Alright, so it's a machine gun with a short burst fire. Which seems to be pretty effective. Maybe. This could be a very short first run. I apparently have some... Uh... Oh, that's another neat effect I noticed in a later level. See, there was yellow blood here from the dead jellyfish, but then the red blood painted over it. So, it actually uh, has done, um, the red blood paints over the effect. Something up there is throwing grenades and I don't know where or who, but, oh, no, it's down here. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing the best right now. Definitely going to... Uh, what else do I have? 
That this is a very good gun, at least for sniping those wall hanging dudes. Though, for, I hate the jellyfish so much. Because they have a way of just easily sneaking up on you and taking half your health away. Alright, I think I've explored pretty much. <laughs> oh. Somehow this game is startling me more than uh, friggin' Unloved did. Ah, oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? How many friggin' monster closets? Okay. So it seems like I don't have to, uh try too hard to make the gameplay fast and exciting because the game's willing to uh, throw enough friggin guys at me at once to do that for me. Uh, so something... Oh, just that. Alright, now I do remember having a key. I don't remember if it was for the door up here or not though. It was not. Shit. Which means somewhere down here is somewhere I have to go. Maybe? It's... Because the game... Um, the game has each level made up of random parts, it can be pretty easy to get lost. Here we are. Okay. So now I've got a grenade launcher, a machine gun, that thing, and that. Sometimes the uh, the boxes will also have useful stuff in them. Oh, and sometimes these dead bodies will be holding keys, which you end up needing to progress more often than not. Uh, definitely dropping 6,000 on there. This button here on the right, it, you can get scrap for... If you use that, it'll return your gun to what it, uh, what it originally was like when you first started the game, so you'd lose all the random upgrades you've gotten from it but you do get scrap as a payment from it. Alright, now I think I have the key to that door up here. Yeah. The nice thing about keys in this is they seem to work automatically. Like, the instant you pick up a key... Um, ooh, it's a shot. The instant you pick up a key it will uh, open up whatever door it goes to. Alright, shops are pretty neat. Um, you can spend your scrap to get money, which I believe is the number... Yeah, the, the credits are below your scrap counter at the bottom right. Uh, or you can buy a single upgrade. There's one that lowers the secondary ammo cost. Um... I guess both of those do the same. Why would you pay the 120 for the 100? Uh, this one is press left mouse to heal or right mouse to throw. Uh, retro rockets, press space when you're falling to activate. If you shoot this guy, then these glass windows open and all of his robots come out to murder you. So you definitely don't want to do that. And I don't think there's anything up here. Um... Left mouse to heal, right mouse to throw. I think that's a gun, but I'm not sure. Uh, I 
think I'm going to go with that. Just because I could really use some health right now. Uh, what was it? I'm not going to test out if it was one of those guns in here, because then that might be considered going after him. Uh, and of course now here's the exit to the level. So i got to wait for that to go while uh, there's no enemies that can get me anyway. Alright, that level's done. Uh, hmm... I don't... Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. Okay. You do have... If you hold down Z, it'll show you what your current upgrades are, like the skull, the numbers, the target, and the fire. I think that's like critical hits... I don't know what the second one is, accuracy and bullet speed, and then what items you have. Um, hmm. And then hitting tab lets you see a map in the bottom left corner. I kind of like how it's built into like the helmet, but uh, I have five of these guys, which I'm just going to use them right now because I could use what little health they offer me. And uh, then move on to level three. Given, uh, oop, I already hear something coming. gun didn't last long. Reload that. Yeah, level 3 seems to be the level where they turn out the lights for whatever reason. Um, yeah, it's, it makes it things a little bit more dangerous if only because now it's harder to see the guys hanging on the ceiling. All right, there's a blue door here. Uh, there's a free weapon there and a red door. So I guess now the only direction that's that's the way I came. Uh, I just got the scrap from there. I'll go straight. Oh. God, I hate the jellyfish and the jellyfish. Spawners. Nobody on the ceiling. And a key card. Uh, so I got a grenade launcher, like a little machine pistol, and the uh, that powerful plasma gun kind of a thing. For the most part, it's really best to just stick to your primary weapon, though. There's usually very little reason to... It's weird. I wonder if that's just like an artifact from level generation. Uh, there's very little reason to usually go after different... Uh, use secondary weapons too much. Though... Uh, Sometimes it's useful. Oop, he dropped a key card. I might as well use some of them for variety though. Oh, 
is bad. Okay, so I got him down. Some more accuracy. Damn it, that hurt me. There is... <laughs> there is fall damage. Thankfully, it's generally not enough to... Uh, really mess your day up but in cases like that where I had 12 health and now I've got 10 is this the way I just went yeah that's where I took that friggin fall damage all right all right so he's dead Gotta be very careful. Right. Now I've got red all over the sides of my screen. I'm not a fan of those guys because they're armored and they run fast. Alright. Alright. Uh, I definitely need some more armor. Even though it's going to cost most of my current scrap. Oh, that's where I just came from. Um, yeah, I don't have enough scrap for anything else right now. I guess that lift in the center is a way to get up here faster, but at 10 health, I don't really want to risk the fall damage. Shit. Oof. I don't want to really risk the fall damage to try. More scrap. Actually. Uh, nope, that's not enough to get any more armor. And nothing in there. Alright. So that, I think, unlocked the red door? Because that was the blue door I just went through. Something's awake. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous because I know this game likes to open monster closets in areas you've previously been to, but only on like your second trip through. I picked something up. I think it was another key. Leave next up is up here. Give you a little snipe. Definitely gonna pound as much food as I can out of that thing. Uh, 
Jesus, this game's making me nervous. I suppose it would help if I weren't, you know, on death's freaking door. I'm now going to cycle around this way. Oh, there's a blue key card. Upgrade station. I guess you can punch while you have no weapon, but it's always best to use these machines when. Oh, Jesus, I got electricity now? Alright. Kinda wanna find somebody to try it on, but also kinda don't. Also not a huge fan of those guys that run and shoot like that because they have a way of uh, they have a way of surprising me. So oddly enough, even though I had decided to use this weapon instead of the machine gun. It has been upgraded in ways that make it effectively a rail machine gun. Oh no. The bastard. Sometimes when you open up those crates, the, the wooden crates, it will have um, like a little robot inside. And uh, that one spawned it into the floor slightly. I see you over there. What do I got to snipe you with? There we go. Well, there's the exit. And... Alright, so I killed him. I should probably go to the exit. Just because, uh... I, I don't want to push my luck too much. But also because the running out of time, and I don't really know where else on the map I could go, even though I've got one more key. Yeah, so the, the par of that level was apparently five minutes. Alright. So, uh, I made it through another couple levels. Um, don't expect me to make it too much longer, because this is close to where I have furthest ever gotten. But anyway, uh, oh Jesus, the lights are messing up on me. That's all for uh, another video though. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.